Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 1482, which is a hard level where we have 50 moves, to clear out 81 jelly. And if this is a 9x9 nine nine grid, that means that every square has jelly. Now, it looks like we get some boost on the board when we first open up, and we also have these ticking time bombs set at 10. Is that the best boost I could get? Probably, but I'm adventurous and I want to see because this is my first playthrough. Um, it looks like I've got this kind of skull feature with these orange eyes. I wonder if that's always how it s sits up. Um, I've got these licorice locks and I've got these ticking time bombs. I'm going to go ahead and exit and see what happens if I go, go through this again. So it looks like it's the marmalade that just kind of splits open. Ooh, and then I got a reshuffle. But this side doesn't open up very well. But that doesn't mean I can't really hope for something better. And uh, since this is a hard level, what I'm going to do is keep doing this over and over because I don't lose any lives. And I will pause the recording and come back here when I have a setup that I think is going to work for me. Be right back. All right, so right away I find an opportunity. This opened up a little bit. I can open it up even more, and I can take out the ticking time bomb here. So I like my odds with this one. Oh, and I get mystery candies. That's a new wrinkle. Never know what to expect with those guys. I do have to keep an eye on those ticking time bombs, but man, with these licorice, if I don't take out a licorice, more licorice floods in, and I cannot get to those licorice. So let's just keep going until we can get some of that licorice gone. And we have to pay attention to where all of those ticking time bombs went. Okay, I can remove licorice and hopefully get the um, mystery candies going. Yeah, this isn't looking so good now, huh? Okay, so now I have a new wrinkle. Now I have mystery candies. So this is not going to be completed on my first go around. Let's go ahead and I'm going to pause the recording again and look for another setup now that I know more about what to expect. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to try this because I see a special. I see an opportunity to take out a licorice right away. And I see another opportunity to take out a licorice lower down. And the name of this game is Staying Alive. Um, by taking out these ticking time bombs while I'm opening up these mystery candies. And thankfully none of the ticking time bombs got sent over there because I've re-established my, I've, I've changed my um, strategy and established this as my camp. Okay, I'm hoping the ticking time bombs came over here and they did. I would like to take out the licorice so no new licorice can form, but I'm getting a bit stuck with that. Here we go. Now it's working better. That's not working better. Here we go. Take out the licorice so it doesn't flood in. Oh, yay. Okay. So this is going to help, except it's also probably going to bring down more ticking time bombs. But at least I'm clearing out space so I'll have more opportunities to deal with things as they come and uh, hopefully more mystery candies that would be nice if they could just give me a little bit of benefit here instead of always being such thick frosting grrr ah I love it this is a good one it takes out a lot of those ticking time bombs and a lot of this interior stuff this is so hard staying alive Take out a licorice, open up mystery candy, set off good things. When in doubt, blow things up. That's my motto. I want to make moves lower to the ground. I'm just not able. There we go. Nice. So two color bombs. I have yellow or green. I'm going to do a count here. One, two, three. Actually, do you know what? If I 
just take out a color with these, this might still exist in a bit. So what if I just remove all red? It'll open this up. Oh, it didn't save this, but I got more stuff open. And I can deal with this, which is nice. And now I get this. Okay, I'm feeling a lot better about this board now. Come on, someone's got to get that ticking time bomb. Really? You're going to leave it there for me? All right, well, I can still deal with it. Okay, one, two, three. This is where I need to center my attention. If I can just get these done, then I don't have to worry about anything else over there. Phew! All right, I did not like that board. Anytime there's mystery candies on the board, there's a lot of luck required. That took me seven tries of even following the same strategy that I decided, so eight tries in total. But after that first one and I noticed what I needed to do, I concentrated over here, made sure I could take out licorice, made sure I could keep ahead of the ticking time bombs, and then reshuffles put the ticking time bombs way over here, or the mystery candies ended up being ticking time bombs set at four that blew me up really quickly. Um, so be patient, get some luck, and you'll get through this. If you can bring in your mini game boosters like your helmet or your spaceship, you'll find this level so much easier. If you'd like to see more videos, you can subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, put those below. And as always, thanks for watching.